I wanted to uh, do the ventricles for you guys. It's real easy, it's real quick. Um, but it's got this wacky Star Trek looking model on it that can be a little difficult to see sometimes. Um, okay, here we are. Um, this is the, the ventricle model right here. This spooky looking thing. Um, now, you're gonna have to be able to identify the ventricles on this model um, and on the brain. Um, and I think you might have to do it on the sheet brain too. Um, the best way to start, learn them on these, uh, learn them on this guy. And I think the squeaky toy, the dog toy brain, is uh, the is a really good model to start your ventricles with. Now, there's four ventricles. Um, uh, what a ventricle is is a <clears throat> space filled with fluid. Okay. Um, so this model here are represent the spaces. So if we took your brain and we filled the ventricles with gray plastic. Um, and then, you know, dissolve the rest of your brain away. This is what it looked like. All right, pretty cool, huh? Um, there's four ventricles. You've got the two lateral ventricles, one, two, okay? You have the third ventricle, which is the coolest, all right? It's right here, okay? And then you have the fourth ventricle. It kind of comes on, on the back here, all right? Then you've got the cerebral aqueduct, with, which joins the third ventricle to the fourth ventricle. Um, to find them on the brain, <coughs> on this dog toy brain, um, you just, uh, there's a, a space right here where the hypothalamus is, okay? Um, and this space, if you look at, at, the, at these brains, the, the place where the hypothalamus should be um, is there's a kind of an indentation here. I don't know if you can see it really well, but I could fill this little area up here like this little area right here, I could fill it with water, okay? Like a couple little drops of water. This space is the third ventricle. The wall that defines this space is the hypothalamus, okay? So third ventricle. The lateral ventricles are up on the side here. Since this is a mid-sagittal section, um, you're not gonna see the, the lateral ventricles um, really well on it. Um, so we've got the third ventricle here, and then we've got the cerebral aqueduct. It's this little, it's this little river, okay? The little river that takes the cerebrospinal fluid from the third ventricle down to the fourth ventricle, which is at the base of the cerebellum, okay? Um, that's the ventricles.